Malcolm was killed because of a, another brother named Depinto. He was born in Nairobi. He's the one that changed Malcolm's head from black nationalist to pan-Africanist. Former Kenya trade unionist, a politician, and a Pan-African, and also a journalist, Pio Gama Pinto had major influence on the life of Malcolm X. He is the one who connected Malcolm X to the Pan-Africanist idea. And it is no strange that both were assassinated in the same week. The late American civil rights activist Dick Gregory revealed that Malcolm X was assassinated because of Pio Gama Pinto. Malcolm was killed because of a, another brother named Depinto. A lot of people thought he was African, but he was East Indian. He was born in Nairobi. He's the one that changed Malcolm's head from black nationalist to pan-Africanist and made that connection from here to there. And the government said, we can't let this happen. He's the one that persuaded Malcolm when he went to Africa and stayed seven weeks and met with all the real leaders. And then he's the one that discussed with Malcolm of bringing racism to the doorsteps of the UN. And as Malcolm was being shot dead in New York City, DePinto was being gunned down in Nairobi. All right, All right. Same time. All right. Same time. So don't tell me about no black Muslims. The same time. Same time. Yeah. Malcolm, who's been gunned down. Uh -huh. Gregory, who died in August 2017 in Washington, D.C., said that Malcolm X was being mentored by Pinto when he was shot dead in Manhattan, New York, on February 21st, 1965. Pinto was a Kenyan journalist, politician, and a freedom fighter who dedicated his life to the rebellion of Kenyan people post-independence, particularly in recovering African land from white settlers. He was assassinated on February 24, 1965, in driveway of his home in Westland, Nairobi, just three days after Malcolm was gunned down. Pinto was in the car with his daughter, whom he was taking to school, when a lone gunman walked over and shot him at close range. If you like this video by any chance, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that this video is worth sharing. Gregory said that Pinto wanted to change Malcolm ideology from black nationalist to pan-Africanist and bring black people plight to America. The activist who also doubled up as a comedian and a vegetarian activist said that he knew that Malcolm was going to be assassinated and refused to accompany him to New York. He said that Malcolm called him at work on the fateful Sunday that he died and asked him to attend his address to the organization of Afro-American unity at the Audubon Ballroom in Washington. I knew Malcolm. I love Malcolm. Malcolm called me the Sunday that he died. I was working Basin Street East. He said, Brother Greg, you, 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 you're coming by today. And I said, Malcolm, I love you. And I said, I love you so much. I don't even want to take a chance to be there. He said, what do you mean, Brother Greg? I said, well, I close tonight, Sunday night at Basin Street East. And I said, but I had my wife book me a flight into Chicago at 8 o'clock this morning. And I'm going to Chicago, and I had uh, way beneath my salary book me into a college about 10 miles from the airport. And I'm going to go there and speak this afternoon, and I'm going to stay there until they tell me you did. Because I'm not going to let this government get two of us for the price of one. And I'm going to call Adam Clayton Powell when I finish talking to you and beg him not to come there. Because today, the United States government is going to get you. Okay. And I'm not going to be there. I love you. I don't even want to take a chance of my heart changing. So I went to Chicago. And when they came and they told me Malcolm's been killed today, I got back on the plane and came back here. Honestly speaking, this video was done by Gregory like a couple of years ago. Just I surfaced the other day and I thought it was good for me to show you the video. I don't know what you think, but as far as I'm concerned, these two stories connect, mainly because, you know, Malcolm X visited Africa. When he went back to America, the government deemed him even more dangerous than he was when he was living in America. The black folks that they got to kill Malcolm 
Malcolm was standing on the stage like I am. They threw a smoke bomb in the back. When everybody got to watch the commotion, the brothers ran up with double barrel shotguns and shot him. But under the Freedom of Information Act, we were able to get the autopsy of Malcolm and all the bullets in Malcolm is going down. Now I can't stand on this stage and y'all down there pointing up, which means the government have such a low view of those black folks that would do it. They didn't even give them real bullets, they gave them blanks. And Malcolm was shot from the ceiling top. And also under the Freedom of Information, the CIA had been forced to admit that they rented the Audubon Ballroom a week before. And that's when they went in there and tore them walls out and put them guns in the wall and shot him from a downward projection. That's what this game is about. So I tend to think that uh, Pio Gamapinto really uh, changed Malcolm's ideas. Give me a like if you like this video because it will help with the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, just do that for me. See you in the next video.